too. I have goosebumps underneath all my clothes right now. This is ridiculous. And I swear I just heard a kid's voice come from over here right as I went to turn. Would you just run by me? There you are. Holy crap. battery this is the second fully charged battery I've put in and it's only got one light left so I saw two eyes looking at me down there and I really want to know what the heck they were are they still down there it's me all right my friends I told you when the water level went down I was gonna come back and go deeper into this swamp to check out the ghost town of Kroom the water level is down by a lot so we're heading back there I'm taking you guys with me let's get into it my friends when we were here last time the water level was even with that lying on that tree right there because it was pretty much all the way up to this all the way up to the bank right here so it's receded quite a bit now for those of you who don't know the history about this location we're going to tonight um there'll be a link at the end for the first time that we came out here that will get more detailed into the history but basically where i'm standing right now there was an iron bridge that went across the river to the other side and um, pedestrians and automobiles could go across the bridge. And um, pedestrians and automobiles could go across the bridge. And then right around the bend of the river, which is where we're gonna be heading tonight, there was, um, I think, two wooden train bridges that went across. Now, this river has several ghost towns on it, has several old native um, villages that have gone away. There's been reports of all sorts of mysterious deaths that have happened in this river and around this river, as well as a bunch of people that uh, one way or another were murdered and thrown in this river. But since the water's down tonight, we're gonna go back here um, into the swamp area and show you the old railroad crossing and uh, the embankment's still there the railroad bridges are gone but um and then we're gonna follow the railroad tracks back a little bit ways where the town used to actually be and see what we get uh walking around you guys as always let me know if you see or hear anything in the comments the water level is way down there the last time I was here, the water was all the way up here because it filled, it even filled this little trench right here all the way up. So that's what I mean, the water's gone down quite a bit. Now, this river also has a lot of water moccasins and alligators in it, so we will definitely have to pay attention to that. I haven't seen any eyes yet tonight, but I know they're out there. Um, this right here that you're looking at, that's the, pretty much the only remnant of the um, old iron bridge. There used to be a few of these posts that went across and that water meter station that I'm lighting up across the river, that's where the other side was basically. Well, it was right to the next to this big cypress tree there's an embankment there and it came across right in there the old Pemberton ferry used to go from where that water meter is across um, and that's another video I'm going to do now that the water's receded I can get across the river there and the old ferry master's house when I was here last time they said he was still haunting that area so we'll go see if we can talk to the old ferry master who before the bridges were put in used to bring people across on a little pull cart type uh, ferry.
just noticed it's a little bit early, but the uh, Walter's uh, viburnum is already blooming. This is an old big one, but yeah, you can see it up there, the little white flowers. I'm almost positive that's a Walter's viburnum, which grows wildly here. But they also have that they sell like a miniature version of it that you can put in your yard. Is that a, looks like a shoe. Is there anyone out here from the ghost town of Kroom that would like to talk to me? I'm letting my curiosity get the better of me. I really honestly should not be walking through this area right here. Um, who knows if there's snakes under the leaves. There's who knows what's out here. Um, but the one thing I was going to say is uh, it's just past a full moon tonight. So I know it won't ever pick up on this camera. But I can see a good deal even with this light on me right now, I can still see a good deal around me. And it is extra spooky out here when you can actually see. Because I swear I keep seeing shadows moving. It's crazy all this grass is growing here. Um, it's only been a couple of weeks since the water receded. And it's still, there's water right there that's still in like a low pocket. Yeah, there's still some water trapped right here. Must be like a little sinkhole area right there. I know it doesn't really show on camera, um, but like, like this tree behind me right here is probably 50 to 75 years old. It's about five foot across. Some of these little stumps that you see sticking up, they're called cypress knees. 
um, they're actually part of the root system for these cypress trees. But like these here, they're two and a half, three foot tall and three foot across at the bottom. I mean, they're huge. You can see this here. They're solid. So if you fall on, I fell on like, like one of these little ones like this, it almost could stab you. See, like, all that perfect room for a snake to hide underneath there. Could end up in so much trouble. Some of these cypress knees are huge. We're gonna run Spirit Talker here while we walk around, see if we get anything. I can't believe the size of some of these trees in here. Like even this one here, I don't know where the easiest place is. Can you guys get an idea of how big, let me turn this up again. Can you guys get an idea of how big that tree is behind me? It's probably six foot across. Like if I laid down next to it, it's probably as wide as I am. And there's one back right in here that I'm going to walk towards that's even bigger. Look at that ancient Soma. That thing is gigantic. That's probably two, three hundred years old. These over here are like 50 to 75. What was that? It's a very weird noise. And there's something reflecting over there. Something reflecting back at me. I can't tell if it's an eye. What the hell am I looking at? Man, if you were like a little raccoon, you could still hide underneath that. That just sounded like something got thrown. There's no wind tonight.
Ooh. Ice cold right here. It wasn't this cold when I came through the first time. Who's here with me? Hi, holy crap. Would you just run by me? There you are. Holy crap. Yeah. Is your name Aldius? Yes. Hi, Aldous. I got that on Spirit Talker. I just, the volume wasn't up. Very nice to meet you, Aldius. Did you die here? You don't have to be scared of this. There you are. Oh my god. Let me turn this out so I don't know if the camera is actually picking this up. This is crazy. You're very powerful it looks like. Is it okay that I'm here tonight? Can you light this up if I should leave? Can you make this light up for me if I should leave? Aldius. Aldis. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I guess you're gone. Are you trying to get me to go closer to that water so I fall in or something? Feels like normal temperature around here again. Wow. So that just happened. Um, are you standing over here by me again? It was like 30 degrees when I walked around this corner right here and I pulled out the K2 meter and it just started pegging full red which typically means that there's either a very strong spirit or something very close to it. Um, and I'm out here in, like I said, and I mean, you can see, I'm out here in the middle of a swamp. It's not like there's electricity out here. This ghost town was from the late 1800 to, I think like 1925, 1930 was when the uh, post office got closed. Now you will see my breath tonight because the, it, it is like 58 degrees and probably about 70% humidity. So you will see my breath tonight. But it was ice cold over here. This started going full red. Now it feels normal temperature over here and it hasn't gone off again. So the responses that I got on Spirit Talker with the volume down was Aldius, it was A-L-D-I-O-U-S. Um, I'll double check that again. I know it. Okay, here we go. Let me see if, let me turn this out, that way it'll pick it up. There's the responses we got so far. Aldius, throw, and then like I said, I thought I heard something get thrown over there. Painted eye, this is funny. And then I came around the corner here, felt how ice cold it was right here, pulled out the uh, K2 meter like I said. This place is insane. There's way more going on here than you would ever expect. So I'm going to make sure the volume is up now.
Did you use that? The, your dad? Are you looking for your dad? I was gonna ask if they used to live out here and it said dad. Are you looking for your dad? Or were, were you a dad? When you look through here, this brown line you see, that's where the water level was in this area when I came out here the first time. That's why I couldn't walk through here. This is called an apple snail. They're a land snail. Not really sure what's going on. I feel like I'm going to throw up right now. Aldia, so you affecting my stomach? I feel so sick to my stomach right now. Are you doing that to me? I think it's just leaves falling out of the tree. I'm not sure. Did I just hear a child? It is ice cold right here. It is ice cold. I just got chills from head to toe right here. Why do you want me to stay here? I don't feel sick anymore. I want to move on. I know you're here next to me. I have goosebumps underneath all my clothes right now. This is ridiculous. And I swear I just heard a kid's voice come from over here right as I went to turn. Why do you want me to stay here? Am I in danger if I go any further? I really wish you would step away from me. As soon as I asked him to step away from me, the goosebumps went away.
that was me. I broke that stick. Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Jenny, did you hear that child say something? We can knock. You can knock? Go ahead, knock for me. What the f- That's so cool, can you do that again? That was so specific, we can knock. Significant. Are you kidding me? Significant? I just said that is so significant. I just said that. What are you? You're freaking me out right now. You are literally freaking me out. Can you knock on a tree for me? I would love to hear that. Guys, that is so incredible to me. That that little exchange right there is so incredible to me. And I'm not going to lie, I am turned around so backwards right now. I'm literally right here in front of me is the uh railroad embankment and I thought I was heading towards the river which is that way. Railroad embankment. I'm trying to head back towards the river. I got so turned around back here. Edith. Hi, Edith. Very nice to meet you. My name is Jay. Very nice to meet all of you. We have Jenny, Edith, Aldous. Must be some kind of a weird fungus or something because cypress trees don't typically look like that. Yeah, I was trying to get on the other side of the water and I ended up just walking around in a big circle and somehow ending up back where I was. This happened to me the last time I tried to come out here on the other side of the river when I went and did that live for you guys. Badly. It's badly. Yeah, I'm badly turned around. Um, I remember that happened on the other side of the river as I thought I was heading towards somewhere and the next thing I know I ended up back at the entrance. Yeah, the railroad embankment's about 20 foot high from where I'm standing right now, so it's very hard to miss it. The old railroad used to run right up across there. I still want to try to make it back over here so I can get closer to the big cypress trees, though. The children play games. The children play games? Well, that's good that they still have fun. Are they playing games with me?
Yeah, that's water right there. I'm not getting any further. <laughs> so we'll go up the uh, embankment there. I just noticed there's another tree snapped right there. But coming down that hill, I could see how the wind could come over and snap these off. Now this is actually really cool. So this old dead tree fell down in a bunch of, looks like Boston fern or macho fern has started. Laugh. Laugh? Why are you laughing? Because I think this is cool. This is funny and then they laugh. Um, so basically when this floods again, this log will float and all that fern will, will still be there. What are you laughing about? The kids making fun of me, putting bunny ears on me? So, here is some of the old granite rock that Basically, this whole embankment was granite rock like they do for railroad crossings. Um, whoa, that was creepy. I, uh, and then the railway used to run back in there and then the actual ghost town's back in the woods there. Now there's some pieces of concrete and stuff like that, but there's not much of the town left. But yeah, once you get up here, you can really see all the granite rock and stuff. Mike. Hi, Mike. Do you work on the railroad, Mike? heard another knock. Now the railroad that would have come through here also was the one that uh, when it went over the bridge a few what the heck there's eyes down there clear as day there's eyes down there um, this I'll move something you'll move something go ahead that would be awesome what are you gonna move go ahead something's moving down there Mike, my name's Jay. I would love to see you move something. Can you move that palm frond? Go ahead, my friend. Oh, I just got the weirdest smell. Be quiet and listen. I saw two eyes looking at me down there, and I really want to know what the heck they were. Are they still down there? It's me. 
It's you? Those were your eyes looking at me? Mike, can you tell me what happened to you? Legion. A legion? A legion of angels? Or a legion of something else? A legion? That's like a military, like a platoon, I think. Like old school word for platoon, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure there's more technical words for it, but you get the gist of what I mean. We're family. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're out here with your family. Oh, I'm so mad. He like purposely distracted me from coming over here long enough for whatever the heck I saw to get away. You also get an idea when I'm like, I mean, you see how far down that tree is? I'm eye level with it at about 20 foot and how much further up it goes. I really would love to bring you guys out here with me. I was wealthy. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad you had a wealthy, blessed life. Did it help you at all in the afterlife? Thank you for talking. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for talking. I love meeting new people and hearing the history. Did you own a business? As you can see in front of me is where the end of the embankment would be and then the bridge went out from there. So we'll walk down that way a little bit. Mike, do you remember when this used to be a railway? Did you ever swim out here? Definitely hear bats. Communicate. Communicate? Is that how the bats communicate with each other? That's probably an easier one to show you guys. You can see it in the ground right here this is one of the old railroad ties um, and basically they would put these here and then you can see the posts right here and right here and then over there there's a couple more so this was mom. like mom you mean like get quiet mom mom's the word Basically, this step down as it went to hold all the gravel back and then the bridge would have went right across through here. And in the next video, I will show you the other side when we go to talk to the ferry master. Whoa. Almost just killed myself. You will see me. I will see you? That's awesome, where are you?
Where are you, Mike? Ethel. Oh, is Ethel? Is it, Ethel, are you Mike's mom? battery the battery are you taking power from my battery is that what that noise was I just had to take the battery out of my flashlight because the button was sticking and I couldn't get it to turn off. Now, I do notice there's like a little campfire right here. There's a bunch of garbage right here. Another campfire there. Really makes me wonder. Hopefully there's nobody out here. I do want to go back in here a little bit though. You are taking something from my battery. It's down to one light. English. English? That would explain why you called your mom mum. Very interesting. Yeah, see, the cypress knees will kill you if you don't pay attention. Alright, I'm starting to feel kind of sick to my stomach again. I don't really know what's going on. I keep feeling like I want to throw up. It's like, and I ate quite a while ago, so it's not like I have like something I ate's wrong, um, but it feels like something's like trying to push everything in my stomach up. It's weird because it happened on that side too. I've gotten so many responses tonight that I don't ever remember getting before. This is actually really amazing. This here is one of those ancient cypress trees that I wanted to try to make my way over to to show you. This isn't even... Up here. Up here? Are you going to appear for me? You said I would see you. It's getting cold. It's getting ice cold. Where are you? Holy crap. It literally feels like somebody has a fan blowing over ice on top of me right now. Um, okay, so I am going to set the camera here if it will stay. I can probably even do this. John. Hi, John. I just want you guys to get an idea of how big these trees are. So this is me standing here. big as my arms are wide if not a little bit bigger and it's that way all the way around and then over here are some actual uh, cypress knees that are taller than me 
This one's probably six five. Um, and another thing about old ones is how big are. Um, and another thing about old ones is how big around they are all the way up to the top. That's why they were such a good, um, such a good wood for them to use for like building houses Legion. and stuff. Legion? Is a whole legion of you here? Is that what you're trying to say? That was the disgusting. I almost smelled like dog poop. Edith, Mike. Dread. Oh, can you not come over here because this is somebody else's area? Oh my God. Seriously? Seriously? And now my flashlight doesn't work? What are you threatening? Ugh. Come on with this out here. That battery just died. And we got battery as a response on here. What was that? I swear I just heard like a whoa. whoa. All right. This is as good a place as any to do the necrophonic app, so. That just blows me away because I can go, like when we were doing a lot of abandoned houses, Debbie, Robert, and I, we would go and I would do two houses in one night, two houses the next night, and use the same battery for all four houses, be there for 45 minutes to an hour each. So that's almost four hours on those batteries without them dying. So for them to just flat out die out here in a quarter of the time makes no sense. There we go. A little bit better of a view there. So yeah. For, for that battery to die that fast makes no sense. It is extremely creepy out here. Even though this isn't the Swamp Witch's Swamp or the Witch's Swamp, um, this is crazy. And honestly, the way I'm feeling right now, kind of sick to my stomach off and on, the fact that I'm already on my second light battery, I don't know, I'll probably have to come back to go back that way and do more of uh, the Ghost Town area. But this river, like I said, has so much death associated with it. You can't hardly get away from it. It's, it's the, all the activity seems to be out here. John, are you still over here? Yeah. John, were you in the military? Were you in the British military? Is that why? Is that why you kept saying Legion?
Were you and Mike in the same legion? Mike, can you, are you still around here? What's up? I appreciate you talking to me as well. Mike. Did you cremate? And put her ashes in the river? Yeah. Yeah? Did she like this river? What was this area like when you lived here? Was it dangerous to live out here? Were there still Seminole villages along the river? You see them? Do you know anything about a curse on the river? The curse came from you? Yes? What did you do to curse this? Am I in danger out here? Yeah? Should I be leaving? You like me? Well, I appreciate that. Did you ever go into Brooksville? Yeah. That was a different town back then too, huh? I swear I'm hearing talking or whispering that is not coming from this necrophonic that's coming from behind the camera. That is... That is me? Is that John? I think it's really cool that you guys are so talkative. And ladies. Is it time for me to leave now? Wait, is it still not safe? Well, thank you for talking to me. I will come back and talk again. I hope you all rest in peace. Goodbye. That was very interesting. There was so much of that that was pretty clear. And I know that they actually said they like talking to me, which I don't get that very often. Normally it's get out, it's leave. I'm so used to being told to get out, I almost have a complex of it now. When I actually talked to what sounded like very friendly spirits. Now the interesting thing is, is I could feel intermittently, it, like even right now it's starting to get colder than it was. And there's no wind, so it's not like breeze is blowing in cold air or nothing. It's actually getting warmer for the next few days. I still can't get over how big some of these cypress trees are. 
and again with the light. I'm going to have to check this because... Oh, it's already at one, too. It is literally already at one notch. Seriously, I'm going to undo my phone so I can... Look at this. This is the second fully charged battery I've put in. And it's only got one light left. So we are definitely going to be making our way back to the car now. You give me one last tree knock before I go? What the hell was that? I think I just heard a yeah. But like creepy sounding. Alright. Here's the hoping we make it out of here. It's like eggs right there. I can tell I can barely see anything. This light's already dying. These batteries are not typically going out this fast. This is craziness. Holy crap! <laughs> it feels like 40 degrees right here. I can't wait to see what you guys captured tonight. Tons of stuff that I swear I was hearing like voices at the time. So that's really crazy to me. Um, very good responses even with Spirit Talker. But uh, I look forward to seeing what you guys capture. If you didn't see my last visit here, there will be a link right here on the end screen coming up. Also down here you can click to watch a playlist. If you're not subscribed yet, you can click up there to subscribe. Tap that bell to get all notifications, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up. I deserve a thumbs up just for coming out here by myself, I feel like. So, all right, my friends, I will see you on the next Explore. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Much love.